Distribution system. Notice that a BSS involves a single AP and no explicit connection into a regular Ethernet network. Sooner or later, wireless clients will need to communicate with other devices that are not members of the BSS. Fortunately, an AP can also uplink into an Ethernet network because it has both wireless and wired capabilities. The 802.11 standard refers to the upstream wired Ethernet as the distribution system, DS, for the wireless BSS. You can think of an AP as a translational bridge, where frames from two dissimilar media, wireless and wired, are translated and then bridged at layer 2. In simple terms, the AP is in charge of mapping a virtual local area network VLAN to an SSID. VLANs are trunked to the AP over the DS. The AP uses the 802.1Q tag to map the VLAN numbers to the appropriate SSIDs. In effect, when an AP uses multiple SSIDs, it is trunking VLANs over the air, and over the same channel, to wireless clients. The clients must use the appropriate SSID that has been mapped to the respective VLAN when the AP was configured. The reason is that the AP uses the same transmitter, receiver, antennas, and channel for every SSID that it supports. All of those clients must share the same AP's hardware. 